Hey lads, another Mythic Plus tip, this time we are fighting Nerzo, which is the last boss in Shadowmon Burial Grounds. We all know about the frontal mechanic and the wall of death mechanic, but there is also a third mechanic which is very important. He spawns a beam that starts pulsing damage, and the damage of the beam is based on proximity. The closer you are to the beam, the more damage you take. The beams are also always spawned on the ranged players, so the strategy here is to keep the ranged players away from the melee and spread out. As soon as the first beam is down, move away from it and be prepared for a second one which he is going to cast before the wall of that mechanic. After the second beam is down, you want to target one of the adds in the wall which is far away from the beams because they are going to stay down almost until the end of the wall of that mechanic. And you don't want to end up fighting an ad on top of the beam. In the first example here you see that we baited the beams on one side of the platform and when the ad spawned we picked an ad on the other end. Which minimizes the amount of damage that players take during the encounter. In that second example we didn't do that good of a job, we managed to stack the beams close to each other but we picked an ad which started walking towards the beams. We were lucky to kill it quick enough so we don't have to stand on top of the beam, but I think you get the point here. Keep the range spread and away from the melee, keep the beams away from the boss and kill an ad which is far away from the beams. I hope that this is going to make your Nerzo kill much more easier, thanks for watching, happy king and subscribe for more tips.